Hi, today I'm going to talk about how simple physics can help solve a complex 3D reconstruction problem. Um, for all the 3D reconstruction methods in this conference, we need to assume at the very least that the object is visible to the camera. But what about object that is not in the camera's field of view, like this hidden bunny? It turns out to be possible. Sounds like magic, right? But let's look at how light travels in the scene. We first shine light on the visible wall. Photons will scatter diffusely. And some of the photons will interact with the bunny and scatter again. Some of the photons will scatter again at the wall and eventually reach the camera. So far, reconstructing the hidden scene requires solving a complex elliptical tomography problem. As it turns out, we do not need to solve it that hard. Um, that's because some photons carry more information. In particular, they are the first photons arriving at each camera pixel. These are the shortest light path from the wall to the object and back. The first important property is that the path of first returning photon of each pixel is unique. And even more importantly, the photons will follow the mirror reflection path, um, even, if, um, even if the object is diffuse. This is a direct result of Fermat's principle. So how do we detect first returning photons? We make use of the highly sensitive CMOS detector called SPATS to continuously measure the times of arrival of photons at each pixel. The first peak that you see here corresponds to the first returning photon. We use the time of flight of them to infer the shape of the hidden object. Specifically, a direct um, way to use it is to carve out an ellipsoid where there cannot possibly contain the hidden scene. That's because if there were scene inside the ellipsoid, it would cause a contradiction. Moreover, um, for a, phot a phot first photon will follow the mirror direction, even if the scene is diffuse. In the paper, we show how to um, estimate the 3D location and surface normal of a hidden scene. I'll show three experiments. In the first experiment, we validate the space carving algorithm. We put a bunny inside a room that is occluded from the camera. Here, we show the um, space left after space carving. You can see that we can identify free space that is not visible to the camera. The second cam uh, algorithm, uh, sorry, experiment validates the uh, space carving algorithm. So, as you can see uh, in the top view, we can only see one side of the object. But with space carving, we can see the back of the object. Our last experiment used the data from Bodhavava and all to and others to reconstruct hidden scene. Uh, on the left hand side, you see the scene that is being imaged. Notice they are not visible to the camera. On the right hand side, you see our recovered result, which is pretty good compared to the state of the art result that use all the photons and require solving a hard inverse problem. Our method is simple and requires only solving the first return photons. Uh, and our photo, uh, poster number is 20. Thank you.